professional here. This should be a blooper reel, right? Okay, anyway, whatever. Hey guys, my name's Justin Cowart. My name, no. I am Katie. My name is, no. My name's Hillary. Why is getting the name so hard? It's my name. And I am the violist in four score. I play cello for four score. I'm the violinist in four score. My name is Bridget and I play a uh, keyboard in four score. <laughs> been listening to a lot of upbeat music. One of my favorites right now is Underdog by Alicia Keys. I think it has a really great message. If you're looking for a tearjerker, I highly recommend Rainbow by Casey Musgraves. And if you're in the romantic mood, then You Got It Bad by Usher. Get you feeling in your feels. Haydn's Fifth Piano Concerto. Gareth Emery's new album, The Lasers. Like, every track has piano on it, give it a listen. Four Score has covered Taylor Swift before, and um, she just released a new album. This is the first Taylor Swift album I've ever listened all the way through, and I really, really like it. I really like Mad Woman was the track. It sounds like she's hitting, like, um, I think she almost got down to a low D, and I really liked that sound. At the very beginning, the quarantine period back in March. I kind of created, I like playlists. I don't tend to listen to a bunch of the same artists, but I mix everything up. A lot of it was very sad in the beginning, just to kind of, um, very melancholy. It matched my mood at the time. Mindy Smith, um, Priscilla On, Patty Griffin. I also have a, I've been learning to speak Spanish about the last year, and so I have a Spanish playlist. I even know the words of a few of the one of the songs, but of course it has like Daddy Yankee on it. Um, there's a band here in Kansas City called Maria the Mexican that I played with um, a little bit. Um, I love their music, so I've been listening to their music as well. <laughs> Yeah, it's really weird. Every time I leave my house, I have to I have to wear this mask. Like talking to my cats. I talk to my cats a lot. I was doing it before the pandemic too, so I don't know about that. I don't know if I really have a quirky habit per se. Um, I started doing yoga. Um, I've been doing a little bit of yoga before this, but now I kind of, it's my, my ritual every night. I do a little bit of yoga before I go to sleep. I usually try to go number two at home if I can help it but sometimes I forget. Uh, I'll get to like a restaurant and I'm like, oh gosh, I have to go number two. And uh, I'll go into the bathroom and I'll forget to take my mask off. <laughs> if you've ever done this, you know how bad it is to go number two with a mask on. I feel like this is like Chris Rock material. Like I should give this joke to him because he could do a lot better job of telling it than me. But anyway. <laughs> Um, the two serial killer series with Piers Morgan, where he interviews male serial killers and then women who kill with Piers Morgan. I watched a really cute high school uh, series called Never Have I Ever, which I highly recommend. I thought it was well done. Dating around. Usually I don't binge watch, but this time I just pretty much watched the whole thing in one go. Poldark. Yeah, Poldark. Glow Up. Mythic Quest, Raven's Banquet. You guys have to watch this show. Genius and cheer. Karen eight, Karen and Nate, <laughs> Karen and Nate on YouTube. So they are travel blog vloggers, I guess. They also belong in Arcos, Mexico. That has been really fascinating. I kind of like to binge watch a little bit of fluff and then a little bit of educational and informative. The last thing I watched start to finish, Rick and Morty, I really didn't think I would like that show. Rick is a really funny character. Like, he's really funny. He's really sarcastic. He's kind of a realist. I make it sound like I have been watching a lot, but this was over, you know, months, mind you. And finally, how do I take my coffee? Um, hot. If it's a hot coffee, I want my coffee very hot and plenty of milk. Usually I do like a cafe au lait, so it's uh, almost half and half. And slightly sweet. That's how I like my coffee. If I'm doing iced, I can take a little bit less sweet and less cream. So yeah. How do I take my coffee? Black. And shout out to Oddly Correct Coffee because they're the best. They're Ethiopian natural process. So good. So good, so good, so good.
Yeah, if anything's gonna bankrupt me, it's gonna be my coffee. I really like my French press, and I take it black, usually. So there's a really good coffee stout beer at this beer place I like to go to. It's a coffee stout on nitro, and it's basically coffee, but it's also a beer. It's kind of like a coffee Guinness, I guess, because it's on nitro and it's a stout, but anyway. My favorite coffee. So this is kind of depends on where I am. Um, yeah, so that is me. That's my, my getting to know you. Cheers to y'all and thanks for sticking with us. Thanks for listening guys. I'll catch you on the next album release. Peace out.